I would say the only thing I have left to do is obviously get more axes. I'm going to need at least five more axes to fill up those doors there. So, got my work cut out for me. Liam, come on, buddy. I'm waiting on that axe. You're killing me here. So, as you guys can see, Samurai Carpenters called me out. Um, I don't know why they call him a samurai, for those of you who are asking, because everyone's probably asking like I am myself, and I don't have the answer. I mean, he's Canadian, which is like the least samurai that you could be. Anyways, I'm going to be making him a two and a quarter pound camp axe with a 24 inch hickory handle. Here's the head, it's already forged of course. So this video is going to be aimed around finishing up the handle, woodworking, because Samurai Carpenter of course is a, a woodworking channel and so do kind of a, a woodworking project for the woodworker here I know you guys probably consider me a metal worker but um, a large part of my job is woodworking probably almost half of it now not to say that I could do anything that uh, Mr. Samurai could do but an axe handle I can make a mean axe handle I'll tell you so um Long ago and far away In my old common labor shoes I turned the world out with your way Just because you asked me to Like unto no other feel Simple love is simple truth and there's no end to what I do Just because you asked me to Let the world call me So, um, Jesse, who is the Samurai Carpenter, his real name is Jesse, contacted me, um, you know, months ago about doing a collaboration and I just wasn't really confident in my product enough at the time so it kind of waited and waited and, and I finally got an axe for him about uh, a month ago I finished an axe for him that I was going to send out and at the last second I can't go through it and I decide, oh, so many people are going to be seeing this. You know, I've got to, I've got to start over, so. That's just kind of how I am. Um, it's kind of a curse and a blessing. It makes, you know, I'm very specific about my work. And if something's not right, it drives me crazy. And I have to fix it. Um, so you know, it improves my product, but at the same time, makes everything so difficult for me. So I'm finally getting around. I'm gonna send him this one. It's gonna be freaking awesome, and uh, I can't wait to see what he does with it. Really. So what I'm doing here is um, starting to fit on the handle, looking down on it. I don't trace, some guys put the axe head on there and then trace the inside. I, I don't think that works at all. I just put a center line. I've drawn up so many hundreds of these that I just eyeball it and then shape it down. I don't know if uh, Jesse has done an axe handle video, you know. Maybe someone watching this could tell me so I could go check it out. I'm sure he could make a pretty decent axe handle with his woodworking knowledge.
challenge is fitting steel and wood together perfectly. I love the draw knife so much as a tool because, oh there we go, got it started now, start pressing it on. Uh, I love the draw knife so much as a tool because of its versatility. I can take a five quarter inch thick hickory board down to the rough shape I need in 20 seconds and with the same tool I can also take off paper thin slivers to refine the shape. So it's just it's an amazing tool. It's really fast and efficient. That's why I use it. But if things are right with me and you, that's all that matters, and I'll do. I'm just gonna make a couple marks. There, there, which tells me how far to cut my kerf for the wedge. Um, and then I usually number them, but since this is for the samurai, we'll do a little um, katana, which is the samurai sword. I wonder if he has a katana. I mean, if he doesn't, that proves that he's not a real samurai, right? So, you guys might want to go and ask him that very important question. He could be a fraud, for all I know. I could be sending an axe to a fraud, so... There's the samurai sword, and then of course, samurai man. And he's happy, so, um, yeah, on to the next set. Anything you ask me to. I turned the world all with your way Just because you asked me to Like unto no other feel Simple love is simple true And there's no end to what I do So after some off-camera magic, we have a axe handle finished here, 24 inch hickory handle, nice and slim, with a big generous palm swell on the end. You can recognize the axe head from the samurai that's expertly drawn on there, samurai sword. It's not attached yet, this is just heads just fitting on here loosely, so we'll go ahead and uh, hammer this on the rest of the way 
you didn't know already, you hammer the end of a handle, it'll drive the um, axe head up the length of the handle. So that is fit where we want it. And I look at it and check um, the angle that the head is in relation to the handle, if that looks right. Double check for straightness, we're good. So I need to uh, put the wedge in next. But if things are right with me and you, that's all that matters and I'll do. Anything you ask me to, that's all that matters and I'll do. Anything you ask me to. The final touch that we're going to do to the axe is drill a hole in the end of the handle, and that's going to be so you can push straight through it and hang it. It's not a good idea to store your axe by letting it lean against something or stay on the ground. That lets you put it up off the ground. got the samurai hatchet on the right side here. I'm going to put some oil. It's like Christmas every time you oil a nicely finished wooden handle. It's so nice. I use um, all sorts of different handle materials on my knives. Um, you know, micarta, G10, and then natural materials, horn, bone, ivory, and then of course wood. And the, the wood is just, you can never get tired of a nice wood handle. Because it's, it's different every time, the grain is different, and just the way that the light plays off of it, depending on the species and everything, so wood is good. That's what my friend says. <laughs> this has a walnut wedge in it, which is actually standard now for all of my axes. That um, happened about a month and a half ago. All of my axes come with walnut wedges now. Oh yeah. Samurai axes done. You know, you always hear samurai sword. But you never hear the term Samurai Axe. I think that's about to change. I think I'm starting something here. Samurai Axe. With the help of Jesse, you know, we can start a trend here. Open up the markets to Japan. And really, uh, really start something. But anyways, this is, uh, like I said, 24 inch hickory handle. Two and a quarter pound head. Comes with the Samurai Stickman. Limited edition though. And the walnut wedge, this is just such a nice tool. I'm actually a little bit jealous of Jesse that he gets this. Yes, I do get jealous of the things that I make that other people get to have. This thing is long, slender. It's just, it's just one that you, some of the axes that I make, you just want to swing, you know? This is one of them. One-handed or two-handed, not going to touch it with my dirty hand, but... Super nice hardened back pole. I'm gonna do a little bit of a show off here. Big palm swell. Bit taper. 
overall profile. So um, another exciting thing, other than getting to finish this axe, I've also finished these other axes, and these other axes are special. They're all either donations or um, promotional type axes. Of course, Jesse's is a promotional type axe. He's going to help me out with reaching you know, more people. I have so many good customers, but um, so many of them are just individuals that, that don't have the ability to you know, reach a bunch of people and share their experience with my axes, so Jesse's going to be able to do that, thankfully. Um, this one... Okay, I'm going to say it. this is hopefully going to end up, as I was saying before my camera battery died, I hope that this ends up in the hands of uh, Wrangler Star. I have not been able to get a hold of him, um, you know, and luckily with the help of some of my followers, I was able to hunt down a possible mailing address for him. So I'm just going to send this to him with signature confirmation and you know on tracking I'll be able to see if someone gets it I'll know that he has it and hopefully he reaches out to me um, I just wanted to ask uh, you all watching this uh, if you could help me out the way that you could help me out is just by simply trying to contact Wrangler Star and let him know that he's got an axe coming um, you know because he is an axe junkie and he doesn't own an LH axe. There's something wrong with that. So this is going to Cody. 19 inch hickory handle, two and a quarter pound camp axe head, and a walnut wedge. These other two axes are both donations. This one is my mini camper. It's the smallest hatchet that I make. Uh, and has an ash handle that's 12 inches long. This is being donated to Young Life Camp uh, in North Carolina, just about an hour and a half from me. And they have a timber framing program, which is really cool. Uh, I think they're going to be using this as an award. So that's going to Young Life. And then this last one is really special. Uh, this is going towards, um, this is going to be going up for auction actually on Facebook and maybe Instagram also. This is going the, um, the funds raised in this auction are going to be going towards a little girl named Peyton to help her with uh, her brain cancer costs, treatment costs. This is the one and a half pound camp axe, also the small camp axe with a 15 inch ash handle. So depending on when you're watching this, this auction is going to be happening pretty soon. Be on the lookout for that. The money is going to go to a good cause. Um, so that's it. Had fun making this. I'm looking forward to seeing this on the big screen. Seeing Mr. Samurai cut some stuff with it. I know he's going to like it. And, um, hopefully I can make another axe for him in the future too. I'm sure he wouldn't be opposed to that. So if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. It helps me, lets me let you guys give a crap about what I'm doing here. And... My website is hoffmanblacksmithing.com. Thanks for watching.